When loading up on coffee beans for your new brew method, have you noticed that you can buy coffee beans or espresso beans? What if I told you they are not the same thing? Many are unaware of what sets them apart and when one must be chosen over the other. Time to clear up the fog. First, let's take a quick look at the roasting process. The roasting process is every bit a part of your resulting coffee as it affects what your brewed coffee will ultimately taste like. You start with fresh green coffee beans, and by that we mean the green ones from the cherries of the coffee plant. By itself, the green beans cannot be used for brewing. It is the roasting process that actually unlocks the oils and sugars within the bean, which in turn gives the coffee that distinct aroma and flavor. The beans are subject to high temperature and the length of time that they go through the process determines the light to dark roast profiles. The general rule is that a light roast works best with a slower extraction method, such as a filter coffee, and a darker roast with a quick method such as espresso. But at the end of the day, all these roasted beans are just coffee beans that may be used for just about any brew method. Okay, now what is espresso? Isn't espresso that little drink you get when you need a quick and effective wake-up sip? Well, yes and no. An espresso shot is the result of brewing coffee through the fast and high-pressure espresso method. The fine ground coffee used must be packed tight in a basket inside a porta filter, which is then placed into your espresso machine. It must be tamped into the porta filter with 30 to 40 pounds of pressure. The espresso method then makes use of hot water pushed through a machine at high pressure, at least 9 bars, within about 25 to 30 seconds. The resulting shot is a thick, full flavored brew with just the right amount of espresso crema. This shot is often used as a base for other drinks like the macchiato and cappuccino. So what is espresso crema? Crema is often mentioned with reverence in relation to espresso. It refers to the light colored layer that forms on the surface of brewed coffee during the extraction stage. While brewing espresso, carbon dioxide coming off the compacted fresh grounds meeting with hot pressurized water causes the trademark bubbles to form. So espresso beans versus coffee beans, which one? Now that we know more about the roasting process and the espresso method, let's try to answer that mysterious question. What's the difference between espresso coffee beans and regular old coffee beans? The brew method. Coffee beans refer to any bean roasted and readied for brewing. Light roasted beans do not have an oily sheen and are best for white coffee and non-pressure brew styles like pour over coffee or cold brew coffee. Medium roasted beans result in a different flavor profile and based on the bean origin can be used for many styles of brewing. Dark roasted beans on the other hand stand out for their dark brown color and shiny oily surface. Most of the time they are used for espresso brewing. Espresso coffee beans usually belong to that dark roast category as this is the stage in which the beans offer the least acidity with a fuller body. You will still be able to get slight hints of the bean flavor as well. The dark roast of espresso beans are richest in coffee's natural oils, evident in the oily sheen you can see on the beans. Emulsification of these oils along with other compounds in coffee prove helpful in producing the so-called espresso crema. Using regular beans to make espresso may not produce the kind of brew you expect in a perfect shot, no matter how good they are. Some varieties are too light, others may be too charred or dark. Making a good cup of espresso is not rocket science, but it's not exactly just about throwing ground coffee and hot water into the espresso machine. Here's why you must use the right beans for good espresso. Espresso coffee beans will give you the consistency, body, and flavor you want in your shot. They help in achieving a rich crema which enhances the whole drink. Regular coffee beans are great for a variety of brewing methods, but espresso coffee beans hold up best with high pressure methods. So if you don't know, now you know. Next time someone asks you espresso beans versus coffee beans, is there a difference? You'll be sure to put them in their place. After all, you're fast becoming an espresso aficionado. What's your favorite type of roast? Leave us a comment and let us know. 
and hit the like button below if you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about brewing better coffee, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and happy brewing.